This is a major warning for all the American people and people worldwide. We just had a top U.S. Senator come out and spill the beans. He's telling us what's coming next, and it's going to be a lot worse. It's going to involve the U.S. being involved in a world war three scenario and what he is saying as well it's going to cause oil prices to spike we could see major gas shortages coming up very soon based off what this top u.s senator just said and this is insane what he's saying all right but he let the cat out the bag and he even kind of admitted it on live tv all right so this stuff is going on right now we're having nationwide blackouts and nationwide shelter in place orders right now that are happening in Israel and Palestine, okay? They are having nationwide blackouts in Palestine where there's no food, there's no water, and there's no electricity, and nothing is allowed to go into the country, no type of resources. That's what's happening right now. And in Israel, they are under a three-day emergency shelter in place order, all right? And what did we just see? You remember that test we just had? We just had a major test on everyone's phone. And these test alerts could be used in the U.S. very soon. We could see a nationwide shelter-in-place order in the U.S. They're saying for three days, nationwide shelter-in-place. And then in Palestine, for days, they're not going to have food, electricity, or water for an indefinite amount of time. They have always said they have cut off all resources this can happen to our country this is already happening remember all the trains going into the u.s were shut down okay because so many people were overwhelming them and they were blocking the trains going into the country our supply chain is being hit left and right and we could see a major cyber attack event as well based on the consequences of what this u.s senator is warning all right so these things are bubbling up right now, and we could see the price of oil skyrocket. It already went up around 4% just today on multiple different markets, on U.S. markets and international markets. Crude oil went up around 4% today, okay, because they are reacting to the uncertainty in the international markets, and it's around 20 to 30% of the world's oil comes from this area. And based on what this U.S. Senator just said, that oil is going to get cut off from the U.S. 100% and we could see major issues and major problems. All right. So you need to be getting stocked up right now. You need to get your gas tanks filled up right now because the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is also at its lowest level in 40 years. Okay. And think of the population 40 years ago versus it now think of the scale of the global wars that we are facing and the amount of equipment military equipment that needs this strategic petroleum reserve and it is now dwindled to the lowest level in 40 years 40 plus years so we are in a very vulnerable and bad situation and if something pops off where 20 to 30 percent of the world's crude oil is taken offline for the western world and nato countries then that could be devastating for our economies and also for the electricity grid okay the the grid accounts for a massive amount of it it's just diesel generators coal power plants and natural gas generators as well that's what accounts for a massive amount of the grid generation and that could be cut off as well we could see rolling blackout scenarios so these things are on the table they're cutting off the electricity over there they're cutting off the power they're having shelter in place orders and we got this emergency message for a reason we got this last week for a reason right before all this stuff pops off all right there's a lot of big things that are happening and we need to be getting ourselves ready. We need to be getting out of these major cities because these major cities are where they're going to declare martial law if things escalate, okay? Because it's going to be very hard to declare it nationally and 
the United States is massive, okay? Massive country. And we are probably going to see it vocalized to mega cities. And then the resources coming in and out will be highly controlled going into these cities. And they will also be concentrated to these cities. So they will be focused to go to these cities, but they will also be highly controlled and monitored the resources and especially things like gas. We could see gas rationing and gas uh, monitoring from the military if things get very bad and if we have a domestic situation on our hands. So this is being done for a reason and it's being done on purpose, all right? And I want you to check out here exactly what this top US Senator just said on live television which is going to bring the U.S. into this war even further. And they're even talking about now having boots on the ground in Israel, American troops there on the ground to help defend potentially against Iran. That's what they're talking about right now. And the U.S. funds Iran. The U.S. gives Iran billions of dollars every year, constantly. The U.S. funds Israel. The U.S. funds these groups and the CIA trains these groups right they train them they give them arms and there was also over eight billion dollars some estimates are even into the tens of billions of dollars of weapons were left in afghanistan as well that were left in the hands of these groups all right so both sides are being funded both sides are being given weapons and we know that this is going to be used to create a bigger world war scenario. So this is what was just said by a top US Senator on live TV. And even the interviewer was like, hey, are you sure you wanna make this public? And he's like, well, I guess I just did. And he thinks this is a joke. And he's like laughing about this, how we are going to drag the US further into this war, all right? And potentially have massive oil shortages and gas shortages going into the future very soon, right? You can see here, he said that the US and Israel should respond in unison to attack Iran and put them out of the oil business by destroying their refineries, all right? So a top US Senator just said this on live TV, Fox News, and the interview even said, uh, do you want to make this public, Senator? And he said, I just did. I just did. All right. So he's saying that they want to put Iran out of the oil business by destroying their refineries. All right. And 20 to 30 percent of the world's oil capacity comes from this region, from the Strait of Hormuz and from the Persian Gulf. OK. And if this happens to Iran, you can bet that countries like Saudi Arabia as well might pull back oil production, okay? They might also, they've been already doing that in coordination with BRICS countries, uh, with China and Russia, they've been pulling back their oil production consistently every single month. They've been, they've been producing less and less oil to put on the international markets and they could shut down production as well. So we could see, or at least international shipments all right so we could see 20 to 30 percent of the world's oil being taken offline and you can bet that's going to make gas prices skyrocket and i know some parts of the country it's relatively priced right now but where i'm at it's still like 389 a gallon so like 389 390 385 380 depends it's like right in that range it's always above 380 a gallon and it's been like that for months and months and months out here and the strategic petroleum reserve is at its lowest levels that's what this is supposed to be used for is if there's a massive war and resources are cut off and now it has been drained artificially to keep gas prices low throughout the past few years that's what's been happening the past year and a half they've been draining it artificially to add more oil to the markets than is naturally there or it is or is being put there by these other countries as well and that's been bringing the price down but now the oil reserve is drained when we really need it 
in an emergency, right? So get prepared for this to happen. This could happen overnight. They already have the plans for this. They've been wanting to do this, start a massive war with Iran. They've been itching to do this for a long time. They've done simulation drills on this. The US and Israel striking Iranian nuclear test sites which the U.S. has actually enabled itself as well. The U.S. has enabled these nuclear test sites to be built. So you need to be getting your propane tanks filled, your gas tanks filled. You need to be getting your generator, making sure it's working, making sure it's running. Get oil for it. Get oil for your car. I was thinking I need to do an oil change on my truck in the next couple of days before we head down. We start heading south. Right, we start going south for the winter because it's getting cold down here. All right, so this is the stuff we need to be getting ready for. We could see a major energy crisis, a major oil crisis, and grid crisis going into winter. That's exactly what FERC was warning of, too. The head of FERC was warning that our grid is on the verge of collapse going into winter, and it already almost collapsed last winter, and it could have went out for months. All right, that's what the head of FERC was saying for natural gas going into New York and New England. Now tie that on top of this international crisis where we could see gas flows internationally cut off as well, All right? And in the winter, the fracking production is slowed down because the water that they use to cool it freezes a lot of the time before it's able to cool it properly, All right? They're still able to do it but it's just not as efficient, right? They're not able to extract as much and get the same yields. So that's what the head of FERC was warning of too, just a couple weeks ago. So all these things are on the table and we need to be getting ready for a major grid down, grid collapse scenario. And look at what they did in Palestine. They shut off the water, they shut off the electricity, they shut off all the imports going in, all these different things overnight, they shut it off. This could happen in the US as well. We know this is part of their plan, all right? We've heard it before, their cyber pandemic, and they're getting us ready for a major cyber attack. And now they have somebody that has massive cyber capabilities, Iran, or they just have somebody to blame Iran now in case of a major cyber attack and they are a lot more likely to escalate things with iran than they are with countries like russia directly like he's talking about here on live tv using u.s planes to directly strike iran right because it's normally by proxy over here in russia with ukraine but he's talking about direct strikes all right so this could be the event to bring in the cyber pandemic as well. Major cyber attacks on our baking system, on our electrical grid, and on our water systems, all right? So you need to be getting the heck out of these big cities right now. You need to be fleeing. You need to be scurrying out of these massive cities because they're telling us, these, these senators are warning us on live TV and people aren't listening. They always tell us what their plan is to our face. They always announce it and make these global plans. They make it at these at the World Economic Forum, at all these different places, at Davos, okay? At Bilderberg, all these different places. Now they're just doing it on live television, top US senators, and they always announce their plans, but nobody listens. Nobody listens and we need to listen when they are warning us right now, all right? We need to be taking urgent action because they want a very similar scenario here. They wanna leave the gates open. They're already doing that here. They wanna, they left the gates open over there, all right? They wanna leave the gates open here and prod and poke and fund and facilitate things until something happens, all right? That's what their plan always is and they know something big is going to happen and we could see a major event on u.s soil we had the national guard doing a massive the largest hazmat drill they've ever done 
in a state just a few days ago. All right, I made a whole video on that as well. This stuff's happening right now. They're preparing for a major hazmat incident in a giant stadium. So please hit it up for me down there to help get this video out to more people. People need to know, people need to be warned, people need to be informed of what's going on. They're trying to start and instigate a massive world war. They're trying to really use some momentum from this to turn it into a major international conflict, all right? Because we know part of their plan is depopulation. They want to depopulate all groups on earth, all groups are being targeted by this. Whenever you see a lot of these leaders, they are pretending. They are pretending to represent certain groups. They are pretending to be in the interest of certain groups and they are not in the best interest of their groups. This is happening on both sides all around the world. This is happening right now where it's controlled opposition on both sides and both sides are in on it. Both sides are being funded and both sides are being manipulated to make this a bigger war. That's what's happened all throughout history is these banker wars. And I just remember this too, that these senators were trading stocks, all right? They were trading stocks right before this major war broke out. They were buying war stocks, all these different senators, they were buying all these different stocks and these companies that are now skyrocketing, all right? So you can bet that Lindsey Graham here is going to make a ton of money from this war escalation. You know he has money in Lockheed Martin and Raytheon and all these different stocks, and he's going to bank on it, all right? They buy these stocks in advance because they know these conflicts are going to happen. They're going to break out and they know they're going to get a lot worse and they will make money the worse they get. So make sure you guys are getting your families ready and go check out that video I made yesterday about an emergency warning about a guy that I ran into that works on doomsday bunkers, all right? I ran into this guy at the store and he gave me an insane warning, all right? So go check out that video after this video because there's a bunch of stuff going on. All these moving pieces are coming together now and we know that they want a massive world war, a major depopulation event to bring in their beast system, their tracked and traced and rationed CBDC beast system. We know that's coming and this is what they want to build on top of the ashes of a global war and economic meltdown. A lot of times these things go together, right? Economic meltdowns and global wars, because when countries start failing economically, a lot of times they start spreading out, they start lashing out and they become even more reckless. And there are monetary systems all over the world that are collapsing. It's not just the US dollar. China is having massive issues right now as well, all right? There are major debt bubbles all over the world, all right? Because look at the past three or four years, they've been endlessly money printing and now we are dealing with massive inflation. I can't even believe it. Just like everything from just a few years ago has doubled or tripled in price and it's just insane. It's like, how can anyone keep up with this and afford to live like this, all right? It's insane and it's unsustainable. And that's part of the reason why they move towards these wars when it's collapsing, all right? Because it's a major distraction and it's also a major reset. They get to reset monetary systems and reset boundaries and all these different things, all right? So please hit it up for me down there. People need to be getting ready. People need to be getting prepared for a major event to happen in the US, all right, we could see blackouts, we could see lockdowns, we could see major oil shortages and supply chain problems and oil rationing. All these things are on the table, all right? And we need to be getting ready for it. So get your tanks filled, get your family on board, get your family prepared, get them out of these big cities ASAP because that's where it's gonna start is these major mega cities, the ones we keep talking about that they are purposely 
collapsing and they're already declaring martial quasi martial law in a lot of these places and if i have any followers that are over there or family of followers over there i hope everyone is safe all right i want peace i don't want anyone to lose their life all right over these wars i don't want that to happen i don't want anyone to lose their life i don't i don't want to see any of these sad scenes that we're seeing all right so keep your family close really treasure that stuff really honor that stuff because it could we could see carnage in america too all right so thank you guys so much i hope you have big blessings with your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day